Hello and welcome to the Marine Channel. My name's Jason. Now, here's a thought. Are you the kind of person that goes and buys a brand new Lamborghini and then changes the wheels? Or the kind of person that buys a Rolex watch and upgrades the bezel? Well, if you are, the boat that David and I are about to show you could be just for you. This is a Predator 74 XPS. I'm here on the stern on the transom of the boat of this beautiful Predator um, and we have to say thank you to Drew at Sunseeker Southampton for allowing us to film the boat today. Um, so let's have a look at the platform itself. Platform is a hydraulic high-low, controls are just up there. It has a capacity of 450 kilos so you can put a jet ski or any other heavy kind of water toys on here. Um, at the back here as well this whole door here um, lifts up, opens up and in there you can get a 395 Williams rib. Um, also here we have this rather neat fold down griddle so you can barbecue stuff on the back of the boat here I don't know land your your catch of the day and, and cook it straight up there and then finally on the transom itself we have in here a crew cabin it's not a huge crew cabin because most of these boats are owner operated but in there there's two berths the laundry's in there shower loo etc everything you need for short stays probably more likely to be used for kids than, than crew as i say let's just close that up so the platform itself great space nice little features like these pop-up cleats which are obviously not for for mooring the boat itself but just for putting your tender on um, but but yeah a lovely place to be if we look at the steps themselves, here we've got the housing for the uh, shore power and that's a little um, fold down bin that pops the uh, passerelle out there, so a gangplank if you're, if you're stern too moored. So let's go up into the cockpit itself. So up here you have a really sociable seating area and this is vast. I can't even begin to think how many people you'd seat here. Um, certainly 10, 12, I don't know, 15, something like that. Um, the feature about the XPS boats is that they have extra levels of detailing that you wouldn't get on the normal Predator. So there's lots of detailing that we'll show you as we go around, but a first example of this is this amazing carbon fibre table. Now this table is big enough to start with, but actually folds out to twice its size. So that's how you cater for all these people that you can actually seat here. And then behind the seating, and this obviously goes over the tender garage and the crew cab in there, you've got a massive sun pad. Again, easily get four or five people on there. But let's have a look around the cockpit a bit more detail. So first thing under here, we have um, an, an additional helm station. And this is obviously for your stern two mooring. So you'll notice this just got the joystick. Um, no throttles, no steering wheel, but you can do everything you need on that joystick. Also engine controls there, and there's also the controls for the griddle and things there. If we look under here, we have the wet bar, really nicely appointed. So we've got a sink there, that tap just pops up like that. Decent sized griddle. This is uh, a fridge. And then under here, we have an ice maker. That side is just a bin and uh, rather cutely there seems to be a fox in there guarding it. But if we come back here, again if we were handling the boat, um, here we've got the stern mooring cleats and winches. Um, most of these boats will be in the med, so you're going to be stern to mooring. How that works is you get your lazy line on at the front, take your stern line, um, three turns around the winch there, you've got the little foot pedal, wind it up and then uh, cleats it off there. So that's how you tension it up and, and bring it into the key. Under here, a little bin store for those tails of your mooring lines. And round here, we've got the controls for the tender garage, platform itself, so the high-low platform, and these controls are for the passerelle. So they bring it out from that pocket we saw and up and down but a really, really nice cockpit. Now the cockpit itself is partially covered, as you can see here, so it doesn't quite come to the end, but this part here comes out and provides an awning for the, the rest of it. And I'll just see if we can, we can demonstrate that canopy open. So 
So this gives you the additional sunshade if the angle was coming in or just for that aft bit there. And close her up again like that. The illumination is really good out here as well. You've got um, lighting in the ceiling that you can see, but also you've got low level lighting around all the seats here. So it um, creates a great atmosphere at night. Also out here we have uh, speakers you can see for the Sonos stereo system. And also if we just look at that table, the table itself goes up and down. So either you have it as a dining table when it's up and folded out, or you can have it as a, a drinks, coffee table, that kind of thing. Before I leave this table behind, and I know I sound obsessed about this, but um, the whole boat has carbon fibre used throughout the detailing um, and the interior, which we'll see in a minute. Um, but seeing it outside, I think, is really something quite special. Um, carbon fibre often used in car interiors for little bits of trim across the dashboard, but it's really nice to see it outside because the way the sunlight will pick up the matting in there will be really quite spectacular. And again, it's really practical as well. You know, high gloss finish, easy to wash down, wipe down, keep clean. So um, I, I just love it. Um, as we move forward, we've got this really substantial sliding door here, which totally encloses the saloon, keeps it nice and warm if you're in colder climes. But once you open it up, if you just press this, we have another really neat little trick. So the whole door mechanism and the window behind it just vanishes into the deck. And once you've got this open, you've got this massive open space and it's literally like an open boat. Threshold here, totally flush, no steps to trip over or worry about. And I'll just put it right down because it really does open the whole boat up. And just brings all the light in, the air, and makes it really sociable as well. So anybody out here, can talk to people in here, but just a fabulous open space now. Um, and it used to be that you had you either bought an open version of a boat or an enclosed version. Don't need to do that anymore. Come on in. So we come into the saloon, and we're faced with this amazing seating area again. If I sit down here, again seating for a large number of people massive windows out the side um, and again a really nice table and it's my favorite carbon table again again which folds out and just have a look at the detailing on this so you've got beautiful carbon fiber with that stainless edging and again this table if I just flick this switch goes up and down on an electric motor so the whole place feels really light and airy, lovely panels, lovely finishing on here, strip lighting. Um, this is uh, smoked eucalyptus wood and we have the, uh, the bleached oak flooring there, but it just feels a really nice place to be. It's certainly a very light place to be. Um, unfortunately, we've got a, a big sun seeker next to us, so we're not getting the full benefit of the light. But certainly on this side, you can get an idea of the view out of those windows. Now on this side of the boat, here we have um, this little cover is for a pop-up TV, just emerges out of here. And then we've got this beautiful um, piece of furniture here. Now, if we look at the detailing on here, and again, this is part of the XPS detailing, but that shape that's formed here, it's kind of like a wave shape, is uh, a sort of hark back to the original Sunseeker logo, apparently. Um, and you'll see that in little places as you go around the boat. But really nice piece of furniture, plenty of storage. And there you've got your, your AV equipment for the TV that's behind there. But this feels really light and airy. If we move forward again, now here we've got another, um, uh, uh, well, socialising area, but obviously an area for when you're underway as well. And the L-shaped seating there, again, seating for three, four people. And then you've got two seats here up at the helm. Now this helm really is something. Um, first thing that strikes you are these beautiful seats. Just look at the detailing in here, the detail stitching, diamonds, um, this amazing kind of headrest, and they are staggeringly comfortable. I'm very happily sit here for hours and hours. But sitting here, you've got this great view out, and look at this dash that you've got ahead of you, the console. So we'll quickly have a look around here. 
we've got two 16 inch screens which can basically be configured to anything so um, at the moment they're in demo mode so we've got um, uh, underwater profiles here um, just kind of they're just running through a, a scrolling process um, if we just quickly look through um, the obligatory cup holders great to have some charging points here we all need to charge our phones and tablets at the moment um, and just quickly going through the the equipment <coughs> so this bit of kit just monitors all the power so if I click on there you can see what the batteries are doing um, domestic batteries port batteries if I click home again you'll see that what else have we got here so navigation it just goes through all the systems on the boat really so a really nice bit of kit now this control is for the fin stabilizers so they are the latest version the ones with curved with little tips on the end um, and really effective but they're also zero speed stabilizers so you can have those um, running while you're at anchor just to provide that stability um, here we have the man engine controls um, these engines 1900 horsepower each these are upgraded engines um, and we'll show you those a little bit later standard is 1550 um, and uh, yeah a beautiful piece of kit and we'll have a look at those in a while um, we've got down here this is control just switches between the screens autopilot here um, this is a control for the searchlight that's up there so you can maneuver it around over here we've got the bow and stern thrusters now these thrusters are hydraulic not electronic so really big yacht stuff um, lovely engine controls there and then you've got that joystick like we saw at the back so it makes berthing easy push it sideways the boat goes sideways no stress while you're trying to berth the boat um, it's a lovely place to sit here um, very comfortable uh, you could do many hours here um, great view we've also got a little side door here which is really useful for hopping out quickly to do lines um, I'm not suggesting you'd be single-handed on this boat but uh, you know if you're short-handed it certainly makes getting out onto deck um, really easily and, and quite quickly um, what we've also got here in this whole area is this roof up here which again we've got this amazing carbon fiber detailing but the roof itself slides back and once we get that back it literally opens up the boat so with the back open and this open it's like being in a, a certainly a sports cruiser but almost like a an open top boat now at the moment they've got this mesh on which is just protecting everything from the screen but this obviously would be open normally uh, and, and really expose you to that uh, that daylight and it just makes this area feel vast it really does and if you were speeding along um, you'd get a really nice flow of uh, breeze through here and if I stand up here I can look over the top and have a really good view so a fabulous boat to helm I should imagine um, I'd love to have the go at, uh, at driving it one day but it's uh, yeah I mean just a, a beautiful place and a place for all the family to be while you're on passage as well up here let's go down below then and see if we can find Jason. Hi Jason. Wow, it looks rather nice down here. <laughs> yeah, you'll always find me in the kitchen at party. <laughs> Thanks very much for showing us around the saloon. No worries. Um, leaves it to me to show you around uh, below decks here. So what we're gonna start with, well, first of all, this lovely staircase, which is, I've noticed, slightly wider than you would normally find. Why? Because if you're bringing stuff up from the galley, you need lots of shoulder room. So I think that's a really lovely touch. And I'm just gonna go in here. David's already spoken about the extensive use on got of carbon fiber on the XPS. And here's another classic example, this handrail here. Absolutely beautiful. Very tactile, very lovely. Let's pan around here and have a look at the galley. So a very, very good size, lots of storage up here, lots of uh, eye level cupboards. And as we normally see and get used to with a, with a sun seeker, this cupboard here has got all our crockery in there stored nicely. I've uh, got the blind shut at the moment, but that is a huge glazed area to flood this area with light. Um, got the Miele four burner ceramic hob, proper oven down here. Great big sink, litter bin in here, yes. And then what this boat's got, which is not actually the standard fit out, but it's the one that most of them end up with, is this kind of uh, little dinette area. Um, and, and there are options here. So most owners go for this because I can see it's a really nice area to sit and have a coffee. You're out of view of anybody else on the dock. Nice place to have a sort of a, a late night drink with friends. Um, but you can have this as part of the VIP suite at the front. So this area effectively gets blocked off. 
and then this can become either a walk-in wardrobe or uh, an office space or whatever or it could become a, a cabin with uh, twin bunks in it but I think this works really really well and um, just looking back here this is where that sort of atrium glazed area that we saw earlier on works so well because yeah we've got some lights on here today but do you know what even with the door shut this is a fantastically light bright area over here on the wall we've got a i think that's about a 40 inch 38 something like that a good size flat screen tv and then again some of this detailing here again more carbon fiber on these panels and that kind of s design that we uh spoke about earlier that's evocative of the original Sunseeker logo. Uh, over here we've got our day heads so uh, just open the door there step in really good size so everything a man or woman could need you at your loo great big beautiful porcelain sink and then a proper shower rainfall shower at the top there and the separate head unit as well and that's in a really good position because that's just off that uh, galley area so very, very accessible. Okay, so let's move forward now into the VIP. So, oh wow, bundles the headroom here. Again, you can see that kind of Sunseeker logo above the headboard there. This is lovely. This is really lovely. I don't know whether or not the camera does it justice, but it's just a fabulous place. There's a little area there for um, makeup and jewelry and just uh, checking yourself out before you go out for the day. Great big uh, portals there, opening portal there as well. So although the boat's got air cold, if you want fresh air in, you can do that. Little touches like this, how often do you put things by the side of the bed? And then when the, bed, the boat's moving, they roll around and disappear down on the floor. Not here, it's got a, a recessed area. That's a really nice touch. Same thing over here. And then again, a large flat screen television lovely uh, color scheme in here obviously it's to an owner's choice so you could go with different color schemes but this is very very tasteful the use of the sort of darker wood and then also the lighter fabrics uh, down here um, we've got a, a hatch that you can go down and that gives you access then to the uh, hydraulic bow thruster so you'll see lots of these sort of access points for uh, being able to uh, get to the bilges and, and do all that kind of good stuff um, en suite here so uh, again, a good size, nice rainfall shower there, and the uh, separate head unit. And then we've got our loo, our big sink, a nice towel rail. That's a useful thing to have. And these down lights, just look at these, how cute are these? Very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed. And then back out. And I will show you then the twin berth cabin. So this one shares the day head, so that at night would become your ensuite. But this again is a really nice space. Big hanging wardrobe here. Lots of space in there, all illuminated, of course. Got your little map reading lights there. Sockets, all your controls for your air conditioning and your audio as well this boat's got uh, sonus audio inside very nice system and as i say access here through to what is the day heads that becomes your ensuite at night again just look at this carbon fiber detailing isn't it absolutely gorgeous love it love it okay but we've kind of saved the best till last so now I'm going to show you the owner accommodation. Well, let me just uh, give you a shot of that. So big, proper big fridge, freezer. Oh, can I undo that? No, probably not. I haven't done the catches. That's me being, oh, <laughs> I need three hands. There we go. Was it worth it? Probably not. You could guess what was in there. There you are. Put the catches back so that doesn't open. Right, down the steps and into the owner accommodation. Da, da, da. Okay, how lovely is that? Wow. Now remember, this is a a sporting boat, so quite often, if you want space and accommodation, you you go for a flybridge. But you don't need to here, do you? Look at this. 
it's amazing. I would say headroom wise, this is probably about, well, certainly two meters, six foot six, maybe more. You can configure this side of the uh, master as you wish. So at the moment, this has got sort of a chaise, but you can have a slightly different seating arrangement or maybe more storage if you needed it. And then again, look at the detailing on this headboard. How lovely is that? You've got all that lovely quilting. Lovely mixture of materials. So you've got different woods, you've got different uh, fabrics and leathers. It's kind of a almost a suede kind of Alcantara finish to it. And then all this lovely recessed lighting. It just makes it a superb place to be. Nice big TV at the end of the bed. And then over here, we've got the kind of obligatory semi-walk-in wardrobe actually lots and lots of space there and finally we've got our heads over here again finish that sort of marble big sort of oversized bowl and separate shower stall very very nice yeah, very comfortable place to be. And to be honest, you know, I mean, this is a sporting boat, as I said. It doesn't feel compromised, doesn't feel that you're giving up the kind of luxury in the space just to go that little bit quicker. It feels like it really does kind of tick it all. Thank you, Jason. Well, I'll tell you what I've found when I'm finding things. Um, I've found yet another superb seating area. This time I'm on the bow of the boat. We've got this, the cockpit, we've got the saloon, and if you want to be outside with a bit of privacy, if you're stern too moored, you've got this amazing area again. So, um, beautiful table up here, look at that beautiful teak. No carbon this time, rather disappointingly for me. Um, but a huge seating area again. So, what, six people here without any problem at all. Um, the seating area itself, if I look behind here, that folds forward, there's a frame that comes up here, and we get a clamshell bimini just to keep the sun off um, if you are sitting in uh, a really hot day. Um, nice features up here as well. Um, we have the speakers just built in there as well for the Sonos system. So you can have uh, music and entertainment up here. And built into each end, we have these cooler cabinets. So keep your drinks cold as well while you're up here. Now just forward of this, now, I've popped this up just to demonstrate, but you've got a, uh, a, a sunbed here, um, sun pad, with uh, a backrest. So if you're sitting up, reading a book, whatever, um, then you can have that. Or if you don't want that, it simply pops down to be a huge sun pad, but also additional seating for your table. So a huge sociable area here, um, which is, is just amazing. If I go forward, and as we go, we just notice the little LED deck lights around the edge here, um, which illuminate it at night, so make it really practical, but also make it look really cool as well. Let's have a look here at the anchor gear. So what we first see, or what first draws you in, are these huge cleats. Look at the size of those things. Um, all the anchor gear is in stainless, beautiful stainless delta anchor, stainless chain, and it's all really close to hand. You've got the buttons there if you want to do it from the bow, Obviously, there's a control on the helm. Under here, we've got the chain locker, nicely on a gas strut, so it's not balancing and going to chop your fingers off. And down there, we've got acres of that beautiful stainless chain. So a really nice deck area to be working on if you're anchoring. Here we've got a, a wash down for the, the anchor gear, so if you come up with mud on, just hose it off quickly but it's a, it's a really super area up here. As we walk back, I'll just show you these as well. Because under here, we've got a couple of lockers for bits and pieces. Don't think you'd get fenders in for this size boat, but certainly useful for any kit that you'd want up on the bow here for this seating area. Let's walk back as well, because what you do notice is the width of these decks. And the bulwarks come up shin height and the rails come up pretty much to the waist so it's a really nice safe boat to walk around. 
What I would like to do next is show you the oily bits. They're not oily at all. Um, down here through this hatch is the engine room. So let's go and have a look down here at the fun bits. Right, here we are down in the engine room. Let's have a really good look around because there's a really impressive space down here. Um, let's start at the forward bulkhead. So over here, we can see the controls for those MAN engines. And those are really useful if you're working on the engine. So the engineers can access all the data down here, the information. Then we've got the power distribution. And then over here, we've got all the hydraulics. Now these hydraulics are for the bow and stern thruster and for the stabilizers, the fins. Now they're powered from the engine gearboxes, but they can also be powered from the Jenny. Now, if we pan around a little bit, just look at the size of that exhaust. One on either side, obviously. And go out to some water traps there. But what we really need to look at are these huge V12 MAN 1,900 horsepower engines. And these are massive. So believe it or not, this 74-foot boat with these engines will get to 40 knots flat out, or just about 40 knots. Obviously you wouldn't do that all the time, or you'd be refueling an awful lot, but it would give you a really nice cruising speed, I guess mid-late 20s, with plenty of capacity to spare. And as we pan around again, we've got the extraction fans there. And what is really evident is the quality of the installation here. It's just stunning. So some more power distribution there. Get your stabiliser system there. And you'll notice here that above this engine, we've got plenty of room, but over this side, we've got this intrusion here. And that is because we've got the tender garage in there. So in there you'd have your rib. But if we just look behind this engine, over here we've got the genset, bit of storage and more systems, including the Victron there. But it really is just beautifully laid out. A small strainer there, which I imagine is for the Jenny. And then if I come under here, I can hopefully, I guess this pops up. Oh, it's taped down. But you can see those enormous strainers there that come out of those inlets. But it is just a fabulous place to be. And with the Predator, the exhausts are tuned a little bit as well, just to give it an amazing sound when you're out there. Okay, let's pop back up and see if we can find Jason. <laughs> I've never uh, seen a man so happy as you, David. I do love an engine room. You, you love an engine room. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we put a bed down there, that would be a crew cabin. That would be my cabin for sure. I found something else I love. Oh, more carbon fibre. More carbon fibre, how beautiful is that? That's do you think amazing. they'd miss it if I kind of took it home? Probably not. Do you think that would fit your boat? Um, I'm thinking more actually in the front room. Oh, right. On the wall, <laughs> there's some kind of piece of carbon fibre art. I think it's gorgeous. It certainly is a piece of art, isn't it? Well, what do you think? I, I just love it. I love the detailing. Um, what I really love is the quality. Yeah. You walk around, nothing creaks when you yeah. close the door. Only us. Only us. <laughs> <laughs> But you close the door yeah. and it feels like a proper door. And it does feel, I mean, the, the, the kind of the XPS upgrades or changes are a subtle, but they're almost like a private pleasure, aren't they? You know, as, a, as an owner, you, you'd notice these things, you know, the little logos, the bits of carbon fibre, just those little changes. And it does feel different as a consequence. Definitely, definitely. I think there's, there's subtleties here. Um, what I do also love is the grey hull. Yeah. You don't notice it at first, yeah. but that lovely slight, slight tinge of the, the grey. 
Um, it, it, yeah, it just feels like an amazing place to be. So there you go, it's another boat on our list, our dream list of boats we can't afford. Exactly, <laughs> it's growing quite rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the tour. Thanks again to Drew at Sunseek Southampton for giving, it, giving us access to the boat. If you look below, there's all the links you can speak to Drew about this or any other boats in the range. Um, but from David and I, uh, from the Marine Channel, until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tell your friends. See thanks you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.